Jackie Pascal here at the FLW Tour. A beautiful morning out here on Oakley Champlain. Lots of anglers ready to get out there on the water. That 6 30 takeoff time right around the corner. You know, this time of the year, it's light at 4.30 in the morning. We're up about 4 every morning. And then during practice, we're on the water till about 9 o'clock at night. And so it's long days. <laughs> But I tell you what, Lake Champlain holds a special place in my heart. This is a fantastic fishery. In my opinion, one of the best fisheries in the world. And I'm super excited about trying to come back and win another one. Good morning. It is time to get up. Cause looking out here, well golly darn, it's daylight. It's daylight. Look how light it is out there. I hope everyone's up up there and just ready to go. Good morning, Brandon. Scott is over here reflecting. He's having a moment. What moment? Well, He's thinking about the three wins that he has here and the two fourth place finishes. You know how tournaments are won? How? They're not won because of that boat, because how practice went, or even this lake. It's won in five inches. It's the space between your ears. Oh. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Well guys, I'm sure you already know this. Today is day one of the FLW Tour event, Lake Champlain, last tour stop of the year. Practice was a little tough, but you know, it always is. Practice is really never just like, oh my gosh, practice was great. Oh man. Thank you. What's up? You ready for the big day? Oh yeah. Boat 27. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, guys. I'm telling you, dude. You're about to be all like, slow down, dude, for real. For real, dude, slow down. Come on, man. I can't hang on anymore. I'm not used to this. Dude, when we go there around that corner, it's eight footers, dude. Giant. You can't even see over them, dude. The trick is you get enough speed to bunny hop over one where you clear the second one and then you kind of go down. It's like a, it's like those uh, bike guys that go on, the, on those dirt humps, you know? But if you get distracted, you go right through it. I mean, it's bad, dude. Be left. Give me a dab. Fist bump dab. Give me a dab. It's called a fist bump dab. Yeah. What point is that? Right? A dangle, dude. Give him a good dangle. A dangle? What dangle. is that? Dangle on a ding. The ding? deal nobody's here which is good There's some decent ones here I'm hoping I can catch 17 or 18 pounds here and to do that I'm gonna need to find a couple extra big ones but I gut hooked this one in practice so he's a little tough to catch but he's a he's a three pounder and then there's several more right here I so gotta get him
don't know what this one weighs. 324. 34. All right. Number one down. Four more to go. We need them bigger than that. There's a couple bigger ones here. I thought that one was about a three pounder. So it's good that it, it was. I caught the fish in practice and it was gut hooked. So I was worried it was going to be tough to catch, but we got it. Seventy-seven. So it's two and three quarters. Two twelve. That's not the one I was looking for. I got it. Hee <laughs> hee. Two and a half. He's got to go. He's got to go. That was cool. We picked it up two or three times. And uh, I wouldn't set the hook. That's one of the reasons I use that white bait, so I can see it. I can see the white bait still out, but moving. He told me that he was holding on to the claws. It's a little difficult. This, there he is. Oh. Okay, that's my limit. Just a small one, though. Away. I think he's about two and a half. Two fifty five, so he's two and a half. Five. Five fish in the boat. Eight thirty. I need big ones though. But it's a limit. Biggest one I've ever caught here. Oh. Good lord. Power hog, that is how you start the morning with a hog. Holy crap!
with that one. Been a long time catching a lot of shorts. Just flipping this grass, went to rock and stuff. Man, just short fish, slow down. Keep her. That was not much, just 15 and a half, but man, I went through a long dry spell. Damn, he disappeared. I was like, I look back at you, gone. I was like, where'd you go? All right, there's a three pounder up here. Hopefully we can catch him. That'll give us another three quarters of a pound. So that's good. Not, not a three pounder. So this must have been one I thought was a three. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'll get another one. Sorry. Three seventy-five. Three and three quarters. That's a lot bigger than three. That's a big one, guys. Huh? Give me another fish box. <laughs> you just can't tell how big they are. Does this trick you? You know, some are light colored, some are dark. The dark ones look bigger. But we'll see. There's another one right here. I think he's decent. I don't know, man. It just I'm just gonna catch him and weigh him and see what he weighs. Yeah, he's a big one, dude. He's a real big one. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Yeah. That's a big one. See, that's crazy. The big ones, the big ones are light colored and they don't look big. The black one over here, that's awesome, guys. It's another good one. 394, dude, that's a four pounder, bro. Yes. <laughs> I needed that bad. Four pounder. Two eight. Yawn. Almost seven, almost 17 pounds. Oh, okay. That helps. practice a little bit the way I look at that is if we go practicing we can catch or find a couple big ones then I'm gonna have what I need and I'm also gonna find some new area because right now this little spot in here is not all that I think it's exhausted so just about a day's worth and that's about it so so far so good We gotta go, B. We gotta go. We got nine minutes. We're nine minutes early. I normally don't like to come in early like that, push it to the last second, because you never know when you're gonna catch one of the last cast. But I don't know where the off limits is right here, and I don't need any issues with my engine or anything weird. So let's just go. See what they weigh. Oh, 27. Oh, I like that. Highway 27. That's where I live. Up and comer in the game right here. Whatever, man. Scott Martin knows how to get it done no matter where we go. He's out of Houston, Florida. Woo! 
over, buddy. I've been watching FLWFishing.com live leaderboard today, and you've been staying pretty close to the top of the board as, for what I've seen. I kind of like this lake. It's a, it's it's really one of the best lakes in the country, and I just it's got a special place in my heart. You know, today was all about just trying to make some adjustments and learn a little bit today, and uh, the Lord blessed me with some good decisions late, and I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Heck yeah, you are, Scott. Good job today, sir. Five in the bag. Good bag of fish. 18 pounds, eight ounces for him. You're in the top five right now. We'll take that. Tom Reddington comes up. He's out of Royce City, takes his five in the bag. Large mouth on the outside. So I've seen three bags over 20 pounds. Tom Reddington makes number, let's get that right. Makes number four. 20 pounds, seven ounces, tied for second place right now, Tom. Hey, hey. All right, today's the day you kind of dream about. Right now I'm in second. That's probably going to drop down a little bit. But uh, yeah, my practice was a bit of a struggle, like all of us. But it seemed like I went went largemouth fishing on the first day and the third day. The water was clearing a little bit. The bite seemed like it was maybe picking up. And it, this place, boys, it's burned me in the past. I've had some good practice days, not one good day, one not so good day. So they kind of came together. I caught uh, a couple big ones early, went through a lull. You know, struggled, then all of a sudden, boom, it, it happened. The conditions got right, and I got to catch him pretty quickly. I pulled off him, was able to practice a little bit today. Didn't really help me, but man, it is uh, it is fun out there. I know all the guys in the house have crushed him. It's going to be a fun week. It's crazy the way it's coming across here. Hopefully, I can go out tomorrow, bust a couple more big ones. We'll see. How's this derby going for you, man? You know, it's actually going pretty bad, but I mean, the lake's fishing good. Obviously, you see all the big bass. I, I came in here having to catch them pretty, just like, okay and I, I did just kind of okay today but i'm gonna have to do a lot better tomorrow to catch up so uh but my wife came up she uh had to take a test this morning otherwise she'd have been at takeoff but um yeah just gotta catch them tomorrow so i can make the cup good luck to you here we go 13 pounds we're gonna watch it real close brother it's gonna be 13 13 that's lucky right no oh boy well the story of the day was I caught them the least of anyone in the house. They all kicked my butt. I just didn't get any big bites today. I had quite a few bites and just never a big one. But tomorrow's a new day. I gotta catch them. I've dug myself a big hole. But obviously, if you look at the weights, they got them here. So here's how I see it. I'm in 18th place. The problem is, Dudley caught 19 pounds. Yeah. And then Cox came in with seven minutes to go and uh, runs over to like some whatever and makes a cast catches a 500. So I came in 10 minutes early and thought, well, I'm, I mean, I'll just come on in early. <laughs> you should have went out. I should have went like throwing a wacky worm or something by the dock. So look, here's the deal. In all honesty, this is the, one of the best places to have the, the end of the year event because ounces are places, it's crazy. At the end of the day, I gotta figure out how to catch some big ones again. I like what I found this afternoon. I'm gonna go back in there tomorrow. I'm gonna put my head down. Hopefully I can catch one I need to catch to make the cut. And uh, we'll see where the, the chips fall. That's all I can do. I'm in control of what I do, not what they do. So um, I thought it was a good day. I'm glad you guys were able to hang out with me and Brandon, it was cool to have you in the boat. Kind of scared Brandon, by the way. All right, that's it. Day one's over. It was fun, it was cool. Get ready for tomorrow. Next thing you'll see is us getting up again at 4, 15 in the morning. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, man. All righty. You excited? Out. You excited, dude? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I found some fish yesterday. Brandon, you excited? Going with me again today? Yeah, baby. Here you go, here you go. Hey, did you like that sound effect? I downloaded that one. Yeah. Day two, boys. You see that big one floating back there? Was that one of yours? Yeah, it yeah, was like a four pounder. <laughs> Good luck, bro. All right, man. Good you know, luck. I figure it's going to be impossible for me to win between you and Dudley sight fishing and doing your thing. Right. I mean, both of y'all just got to catch whatever to make the cut, right. and then I'm out. Make so now, cut, yeah. now I, I just got to win. Yeah. And there's no other pressure. I just right. want to win. Right. So. Congratulations. <laughs> Can you skip? Yeah. That's your question? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, we're having fun this morning. You know, it's the last tour event of the year. 
again, we're at Champlain. You know that, obviously. But uh, man, what a what a cool place. You know what's what's amazing to me about this this fishery is that you know you go out and you practice and you say to yourself, man, you know the fishing might be a little off. This this might be a little off for some reason, and it's not. What's the word, man? What's the word? I'm so embarrassed right now. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Brandon's your marshal. Yeah. He's got an official iPad. Yep. Every fish catch you do, we're going to say it's a six-pounder. Really? We're going to do like a Rob Kilby? Yeah. We're going to pull a Rob Kilby today? They're going to think you got 45 pounds. It's yes. going to be helicopters. Like that. Helicopters coming in. Yeah. Yeah, Davy Seal people jumping there out. Scuba divers. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's exactly what Rob did. Do another five-pounder. Yeah. Rob's got like way over 20 pounds. So everywhere you go, it's going to be like 40 boats following yeah. you like a Christmas parade. Yeah. I don't know how you get five pounds off on your deal. So tell me, Bill, what's the word today, Bill? The word is, son, you're going to smoke them today. Exactly <laughs> what it is. I like it. I got a good feeling about everybody catching them again today as far as... I think Andrew's going to catch them today. I think hopefully Tom catches them. Be live. Kind of not super whole... I mean, I, I love you, John. Love you. But I'm, I'm... There's a little on the line, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't take this the wrong way, but... I hope Dudley and John have a... A weird day. I don't know. Maybe you never know what happens. So, but at the end of the day, I'm just gonna go out and do what I gotta do. Again, it's, it's not against them; it's against me. For 138. Hey. 138. All right. throw this swim bait. I can't see good right now. Low light. I'm going to take this real bright colored swim bait and try to get one to <clears throat> come up and look at it. And that'll tell me that there's one on the bed. You know, today it's all about uh, it's all about a weight. It's all about a number. So guys, there's one right here. That's the one I caught yesterday, guys. Three pounder. I weighed him yesterday with 301. Well, yeah, three pounds, really. Three pounds. Great job, Scott. <laughs> yeah! All right, number one. Just need. <clears throat> Just keep going. Shit spit up. Look no. at that. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fish it spit up, guys. That's crazy, huh? Was it an alewife? What is that? That's crazy. Alright. 365. 365. Number two. Just need them like that all day long, boys. Threw up by this floating dock. There's not a lot of docks on Champlain, so the biggest docks on the lake will always have a couple fish on them. 
And so I threw that little hair jig up there and got one to bite. And as I was reeling it out, there was a really big one with him. It was spitting up the shad like that one spit up. So they're in here feeding. I don't see any behind it. Watch on the hand optics. Fresh ones like that. Let's see what she weighs. 361. It's a 310. That's a good one, guys. See, just a little patience. Jacking around back there on a little two pounder. Go another 50 yards. Boom. Big mama. Well, goal number one, you just check it off. Just check. Like, hey, bam! How about that? You just gotta wiggle it just right. What? You just gotta wiggle it just right. boat coming in on us. There's a boat coming in on us. That's cool again. I've got rooster tail. Look. Now that's pretty cool. I'll trade. You want to drive this one? I'll drive that one. Brandon, you know what time it is? You know what time it is? It's time for a cinematic release.
guys, that last fish put me up almost to 17 pounds. And you know what that means? That means we made the cut. So we got a check a little while ago. Now we're in the top 30 cut. Now we just got to get 20 pounds today to move up close to the top, top five or so. We need 20 pounds. So that's our next goal. Two goals down, one more goal to go. All right, we got to go, guys. I um, didn't, I accomplished two goals. Didn't accomplish the third, which was to catch 20 pounds. But we did learn a few things today. I think we're out of, I think we're out of sight fish, though. Over there, I think we're out of sight fish on that one area. But we did learn a few things with the swim bait. So, if we can develop that tomorrow, that's a big, big bag of fish. Big bag. So, let's go weigh them in, see what happens. Hopefully we'll make the cut. So I'm going to check something right now. John's in 28th place. John Cox is. Dudley is in uh, 12th. Dudley uh, is one point behind Cox. If Cox doesn't make the cut, then Dudley's going to win. I don't think I could overtake him even if I make the cut, which I should make the cut. But they caught him again, guys. I mean, 34-3 right now is 30th place. That's a lot of weight. I mean, that's... That's a lot of weight. That's 17 pounds a day. Here's one of the top competitors in the game, man. Doesn't matter what lake we go to, doesn't matter what kind of fish we're after, this dude knows how to catch them. Scott Martin from Clewiston, Florida. 18 pounds, eight ounces on day one. That was a good day for you, man. It was a blessed day. You know, I, I had a lot of fun. This lake's just truly amazing. Like I said yesterday, it's got a special place in my heart. You know, it's a uh, such a fantastic, I mean, you can go south, you can go north, you can go large mouth or small mouth, and you see the weights, I mean, it's super tight. Probably the best lake in the country. So hopefully I can go out again tomorrow and enjoy this lake, and it was a blessing today, catch what I did catch, and learn a few things along the way, and so it should be good. Heck yeah, man, like I said, 18-8 to get it rolling on day one. Five more today. Scott Martin, 16 pounds, nine ounces. I got you in the cut, dude, you're in 24th. All right, top 30. Hey, I apologize, I only weighed 16.9. I, I don't know what happened, so whatever. But we're in the cut. Cox is in 30th, so he made it, and uh, Angler of the Year is still alive. And uh, I think Tom made it. I think. Looky there. And I do have bad news. I do have bad news. Be like I bumped out. Finished 31st. All right, well that is it, fellas. Tom, good job. Who else made the cut in the house? Just you and me? Yeah. Lats out, one spot one out. One spot, two ounces. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm, sorry, mm. Dude. That's bad. <laughs> so, how awesome was that? Brandon being able to hang out on the boat with us the last two days, getting some really cool footage. Um, a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys in, you know hung out with us. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we're gonna start a new video tomorrow, so day three. And we're gonna be paying attention to what these guys do. It's gonna be pretty intense. So, thanks for watching, guys. We're gone. Bam!